Hey folks, Turbine Guy in Egan today, Egan, Minnesota, where we got an issue with the solar system. You can see I got one module up, another coming, because that second module in is bad. And we can see that third module in up there is all cracked up and needs to be replaced too. So we've got the newer modules here, but as you can see just from here, that module's wider than this module. So I'm going to arrange everything, get everything down on the bottom here to be the same. Put a regular one right where the cracked one is and put the two new ones here. They're going to stick up higher and I'm going to have to add some rail down here in order to accommodate for the extra width. All right, I got the first two removed and the bad one out. It's now time to put this guy and this guy back. Okay, we got the bottom two in. Now time to get up to that bad one up there. Okay, we worked our way in. Time to put this guy in, then this guy in. Now as we can see here, these new modules are a little shorter than the old ones. So I'm getting myself some washers, putting them down underneath and then tacking it down to make up the difference. All right, I got the first one in and uh, we can see the size difference. Now these old modules are all 325 watts a piece. This one's 450, but it's also five and a half inches wider. So I've got to get up here with a couple of 12 foot or 12 inch extensions couple of flash feet and make the last one fit one issue i ran into is the idiots who installed this never put an end cap on that baby and left it wide open so those are both hot and live just sitting out with nature so boom i got my end cap i'm gonna put that on okay that wire's capped off okay we got flash feet in and 12 inch extensions added on to accommodate the module width we had to do that because coming over more than two feet is definitely not appropriate for rails and this one was even iffy where it was. And there we got the second module installed. As I said, 450 watts each versus 325 here. Canadian Solar replacement modules under warranty. And now y'all out there know what it takes to put dissimilar size modules, not just width and length, but height, into a long-term existing system. Turbine Guy, signing off.